Welcome back to Exam Lab UK. Today, we are kicking off part 2 of section 7, where we will cover questions about safer driving in relation to the SARU assessment for PCO drivers. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel for more useful exam prep resources. By completing this training, you will feel more confident for your SARU exam. So let's get started and ace that test. Quote. What is required by laws for safe use of vehicles? A. A driving license only. B. A driving license and insurance. C. A driving license, insurance, a current MOT certificate, and wearing a seatbelt. Right answer is C because the text states that laws require you to have insurance, a current MOT certificate, a driving license, wear a seatbelt and not drive a faulty vehicle. What is the responsibility of the driver regarding passengers wearing seatbelts? A. Encouraging adult passengers to wear seatbelts. B. Ensuring that all children under 14 wear seatbelts and sit in approved car seats. C. Making sure all adults wear seatbelts and children are correctly seated and restrained. Right answer is C because the text specifically states that all adults must wear a seatbelt and drivers should encourage adult passengers to wear a seatbelt for their own safety. Drivers must also make sure that all children are correctly seated and restrained. What are the consequences of breaking traffic laws? A. You may receive a warning. B. You may get a fixed penalty notice or be prosecuted which can result in a fine and penalty points on your license C. You may get away with it. Right answer is B because the text clearly states that if you fail to obey any of the above rules, you may get a fixed penalty notice or be prosecuted. This can result in a fine and penalty points on your license. It may also result in you being banned from driving. You could also lose your PHV driver's license. What should you do if the correct child car seat is not available? A. Travel without one. B. Find an alternative seat. C. Travel without one only if the child is under three and sitting on a rear seat. Right answer is C because the text states that if the correct child car seat is not available, children can travel without one but only if they travel on a rear seat, and wear an adult seat belt if they are three or older without a seat belt if they are under three. What does TFL expect from professional drivers regarding awareness of other road users? A. They don't have any expectations. B. They expect professional drivers to be aware of all road users equally. C. They expect professional drivers to be fully aware of the most vulnerable road users. Right answer is C because the text states that TFL expects all professional drivers to be fully aware of other road users. In particular those people who are the most vulnerable. It is important for professional drivers to be responsible and aware of vulnerable road users such as pedestrians, cyclists, and motorcyclists. Who are considered as vulnerable road users? A. Only professional drivers. B. Pedestrians, cyclists, and motorcyclists. C. All road users equally. Right answer is B because the text states that TFL expects drivers to be aware of those people who are the most vulnerable, and then goes on to specify that these are pedestrians, cyclists, and motorcyclists. These groups are more vulnerable due to the lack of protection they have compared to other road users like cars or buses. What should drivers do when encountering pedestrians on side roads? A. Ignore them and continue driving. B. Give way to them. C. Honk the horn to warn them. Right answer is B because the text specifically states, and give way to pedestrians on side roads. Drivers have to be careful and give priority to pedestrians, especially when they are crossing the road or using a side road. This helps to prevent accidents and ensure safety for everyone. Why should drivers be aware of pedestrians suddenly stepping into the road? A. To scare the pedestrians away from the road. B. To avoid accidents and ensure safety. C. To teach them a lesson. Right answer is B because the text states, be aware of pedestrians suddenly stepping into the road, which highlights the importance of being cautious. Pedestrians may not always be paying attention, may be in a rush or distracted, and can suddenly step into the road without warning. Being aware of this possibility can help drivers take necessary actions to avoid accidents which is the ultimate goal of following traffic rules. When should drivers be especially aware of cyclists? A. 
only when they are cycling in groups. b. When they are in a hurry. c. When turning, in slow moving traffic, or pulling away from traffic lights. Right answer is C because the text specifically states, be aware of cyclists at all times but especially when you are turning, in slow moving traffic, or when you are pulling away from traffic lights. Drivers should be particularly cautious of cyclists in situations where they may not be easily visible or where cyclists may be more vulnerable to accidents. Why should passengers check before opening the door into the road? A. To show respect for cyclists. B. To prevent accidents. C. To help cyclists navigate the road better. Right answer is B because the text states, please ask your passengers to check before they open the door into the road to make sure there isn't a cyclist coming. You must do the same. Cyclists can be seriously injured if a car door suddenly opens in their path. By checking before opening the door, passengers can help prevent accidents and ensure the safety of everyone on the road. When should drivers be especially aware of motorcyclists? A. When they are driving on a highway. B. When they are in a hurry. C. When turning or in slow moving traffic. Right answer is C because the text specifically states, be aware of motorcyclists at all times but especially when you are turning or in slow moving traffic. Drivers should be particularly cautious of motorcyclists in situations where they may not be easily visible or where motorcyclists may be more vulnerable to accidents. That concludes Section 7 Part 2 of our series. We hope that this video has provided you with valuable insights and knowledge. For additional mock tests covering other sections, we have included the relevant links in the video description. We kindly request that you subscribe to our channel for regular updates on mock tests and informative videos related to exams. We appreciate your continued support and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to stay connected with us. Stay tuned for more engaging content. Thank you.